Growing up, I had a very long list of qualities and conditions that my future husband must possess and meet. <laughs> Top points I had listed were lives within a 10k radius of me, has a suit and tie city job, is a stand-up surfer like my dad. <laughs> it's fair to say, Jacob, you met none of the above criteria. <laughs> when I, as a young adult, Jacob uh, decided to quit a city lifestyle, go and work in a mine. We were a little bit worried that he will not ever stop being single. <laughs> the, we didn't think there will be girl girls in a Pilbara mining fields. In time, move to the rhythm of a heart that beats for your life. It was to uh, my great surprise to see that Jacob comes home one day and says, I met a girl. And opening eyes, I see the headlights. So we met up in the Pilbara on a, an iron ore mine site. He was an apprentice auto electrician and I was working in admin. When Jacob first met you, I remember him trying to play it down, but always noticed he had some excitement in his voice as he would tell me about the office girl that used to make the special trips down to pick him up from the airport. Before I knew it, you had Jacob spending his weekends at organic markets, renovating a house, owning some five cats, several dogs, horses, and whatever animals you could find on the rescue websites. <laughs> Getting married means for me, I guess, a lifelong commitment. I wanted to have that long-lasting marriage and be happy and travel lots and have lots of kids and lots of animals, which I think I already have, but one or two wouldn't go astray. Elise, I remember the morning we shared our first meal together and knowing that you would change my life forever. It was a feeling I'll never forget. You're not only my soulmate, but my best friend, my life, my everything. Standing with the girl of my dreams here today, in front of all of our loved ones, I want to promise you. I promise to support you, to grow with you, to adopt more cats and dogs with you. <laughs> and to love you till my heart stops. Jacob, I still cannot believe that today I get to marry my best friend. I love you for everything you are and for everything you do for us. Today and every other day we have together, I promise you my deepest love, support and devotion. While I cannot promise I won't bring any more cats home, I can promise I will always ask you first. It is my absolute pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Today she joined hands with a wonderful young man and in addition to the sparkle I always see in her eyes, I see a greater love and happiness there before, beyond anything that I've ever seen. Elise, thank you for being you. Thank you for being so patient with me, for looking after me, for always making me smile. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life loving you. Can everyone please raise their glasses to my wife, Elise, and to our next children, only having two legs.